Um, we grow the cyanobacteria to an OD of one to two. So this is an example of a liquid culture that we have. So we check the optical density. And after that, we a centrifuge, we harvest it. And then the pellet, we wash again with the media. And then we concentrate to a certain optical density. And then afterwards, we use it in a whole cell biotransformations. So we utilize the cyanobacteria with the enzyme in it to convert a substrate into another product that is industrially relevant today. So uh, in our lab, we have two reactor systems. One is a smaller one, which has a reaction volume of just one ml or five ml. So for this one, this is 200 milliliter reaction mixture, but you can definitely go into a larger volume if you like. This one, is, the aeration is coming from the air pump here. So it pumps like atmospheric um, air, which uh, the cyanobacteria needs for um, their metabolism. So they need carbon dioxide for this. And this tube has these coils, which uh, produces electromagnetic force inside the device, and it powers the wireless light emitters that you can see inside. So the use of this wireless light emitters is to bring um, light inside of the reaction mixture, because in case of very dense um, reaction mixture, the light doesn't pass through. So you have lower productivity of your cells. So in this case, we bring the light inside of the reaction mixture, so they could use it for photosynthesis and then for the reaction itself. So for this uh, reaction systems, there are several drawbacks and the cyanobacteria may be unstable to other external factors in the environment. That's why we need to immobilize them into beads or thin alginate films. So we have here from a solution, a 4% solution of sodium alginate. We mix it with the cells and then we make a film here. So we just pipe it uh, three milliliters of cell mixture into the insect screen and then we spray it with 50 millimolars of calcium chloride. So this will um, initiate the hardening. So this is already a gel, as you can see here. So you just cut it into um, whatever dimensions you need. So in our case, we use one by three centimeters of the screen and we use it to with, for the reaction system already. And so for the beads, we use the same reaction mixture, but just pass it through a syringe. And as you can see here, we make around 1.5 to two millimeters of diameter for the beads system.